Captain Richard Dick Phelan was born and raised in Davenport, Iowa, and graduated from Davenport High School in 1960. He graduated from the United States Naval Academy in 1964 and went on to pursue naval flight training in Pensacola, Florida, in Corpus Christi, Texas. In December of 1965, Phelan received his flight wings and naval aviator status. The following January, Phelan began training to fly P-2s with Patrol Squadron 24 in Jacksonville, Florida. He met his wife of 57 years, Edna Moore, in Jacksonville, and they got married in Orange Park, Florida in March of 1966. Phelan moved to Norfolk, Virginia that same month and was deployed to the Mediterranean. He transitioned to flying P-3s and deployed to Iceland and Lodges Air Force Base in the Atlantic in 1968. In 1969, he began a master's program in operations analysis at the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. He graduated in 1971 and moved to Coronado, California, where he attended Vietnamese language school and survival training, preparing for deployment to Vietnam. Phelan served in the Vietnam War from January 1972 to January 1973. He lived in hamlets and flew into different areas throughout the country, creating reports for Ambassador Ellsworth Bunker, the U.S. Ambassador to South Vietnam. Phelan was awarded the Bronze Star for his service during the war. After Vietnam, Phelan served with several Navy patrol plane squadrons, including an operational test and evaluation squadron in Key West, Florida, and Patuxent River, Maryland, that tested anti-submarine warfare weapons systems. Phelan was the commanding officer of Navy Squadron VP-45 from 1982 to 1983, which consisted of 12 anti-submarine warfare airplanes, 75 officers, and 300 enlisted men and women. The squadron was routinely deployed to the Mediterranean Sea. He served as Chief of Staff of Patrol Wing 11 in 1983 to 1984, then continued his education at the Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island. He obtained two additional master's degrees. Phelan went on to serve on the Secretary of Defense staff at the Pentagon for three years. In July 1988, he received orders to move to Auburn to become a professor of naval science and the commanding officer of the Naval ROTC program. I probably was among the very first people in Auburn to ever talk with Dick Phelan, as we all know him now. And he was delightful. He had that strong Midwestern voice. He was a Naval Academy graduate. And we were excited to have him coming to Auburn as the next CEO. We had a very large unit, uh, one of the largest in the country, uh, probably about 400 students at that time. He oversaw the program for three years before retiring from the Navy in 1991. Phelan retired as a decorated veteran, having been awarded the Bronze Star for his service in Vietnam, the Legion of Merit Award, the Meritorious Service Medal with a Gold Star, and several other medals throughout his 27-year military career. You don't have to be around Dick very long to tell the military influence that actually exudes. I, I mean, from his stature, the way he walks, the way he talks, the way he carries himself, having served the number of years that he did in the Navy in all the different roles, um, clearly uh, he, he is a military veteran through and through. His former cadets uh, would keep in contact with him, and um, and I, it appeared that they sought him for still, con you know, that direction and advice, and they, you know, they seemed to value that. Phelan and his family decided to put roots down in Auburn. He began a second career in financial planning, joining fellow Rotary Club member Ted Wilson at Wilson Investment Group. I know he told me when he was beginning to think about retirement after his tour at Auburn, because that was his final tour in the Navy, that he did not want to be an Airbus driver. <laughs> he, didn't, he, he didn't want to fly for Delta or anybody else. He and I were talking and he got to, he realized I was in the investment business and he said, you know, I'd like to have lunch with you one day and just talk about what your business is. He said, I'm thinking about when I retire to go back to Jacksonville, Florida. I've got a broker down there that's helped me with my money. He said, I'm going to maybe, I'm wouldn't, maybe that's what I want to do in a, in a second career. So I said, well, let's go to lunch. So he, we went to lunch and while I was talking to him, I said, you know, Dick, you like it here in Auburn, don't you? He said, I do. I said, well, why don't you think about this? I'm looking to expand my business and I'm trying to look for some individuals that I feel like I can work with 
we got back together and he said, you know, that's what I think I'll do, Ted. If you'll take me on and uh, show me the ropes, so to speak, then I will, uh, I, I, I think I'd like to stay in Auburn and uh, be associated with you. Phelan enthusiastically served on various Auburn civic organizations over the years, including serving as the first chair of the Auburn Veterans Committee. I was first elected mayor in 1998, and soon thereafter, under the uh, suggestion and direction of Doug Watson, who was city manager at the time, and Philip Dunlap, economic development director, both of uh, Doug was a Vietnam veteran and Philip's dad, a World War II veteran. And in, in discussions with them, the suggestion was made that we form a Veterans Memorial, which is, is on the corner now, and also acknowledge and honor the veterans on Memorial Day every year. So we formed a committee, a veterans committee, which is, is still intact. And Dick Phelan was the first chairman and chairman for many, many years. And uh, he is still an active member of the veterans committee. You know, he's been very devoted to the military community in Auburn since his retirement. A lot of people find other interests maybe and don't have time for that. He's always faithful to, to be there for families or anybody that he's known. He can be depended on. Phelan is the past president of the Auburn Rotary Club and the Retired Officers Association of East Alabama, as well as the past chairman of the Auburn United Methodist Church Financial Committee and the Naval Academy Blue and Gold. He has served on the board of directors for the state of Alabama Special Olympics for the last 15 years and was selected as Lee County's 2013 Distinguished Citizen of the Year by the Boy Scouts of America. Phelan served the Auburn community as a member of the city council for 16 years. During eight of those years, he served as the mayor pro tem for former mayor Bill Ham. I could always count on him in, in every regard because he was always well prepared he, he knew the subject matter, he, uh, he talked to constituents, he talked to people throughout the community, and, and he concentrated on making, I, I always believe and still do, the very best decision for the entire community. So uh, he, was, he was a great member to have and, and great to have as Mayor Pro Tem and uh, in irony for, in uh, military terms, I called him my number one wingman. You know, the bottom line is, Dick Phelan is a quality guy. I think he's made not only my life a better life, but he's made a lot of other people in this city have a better, have a better life. He's turned into a true Auburn, true Auburn person, even though he he did grow up in Iowa. <laughs> you know, when you think about all the wonderful recipients that have received the award that's been given to Captain Phelan today, it, uh, I think he is exemplary of, of all of the reasons the other people have been recipients and uh, he exemplifies what it means to be a great American and to be a stalwart for the freedoms that we all enjoy. Phelan and his wife Edna reside in Auburn and have four children and ten grandchildren. Phelan is a shining example of service to his country and community and we are honored to present him with this year's Distinguished Veterans Award. Thank you Pops for being such a great role model to all of us over the years. Congratulations Pops! Proud of you. We love you. Go Navy, be Army.